Mm -hmm. And yeah, so <laughs> sure, let's, let's just get going. We're gonna get started. All right. <laughs> Sorry, we're a little late. We just had technical difficulties, but we're yeah. here now. So <laughs> <laughs> when you get your, it's actually in a smaller box than I thought. So it's not yeah. super big. It's not like 12 by 12. Which is cool because nice. you can do it. Um, like with 12 by 12 paper, you can, yeah, and yeah, you don't have to, yeah, I have you this have giant have big, thing, yeah, another thing to store, it's yeah. not huge, yeah. so it's this nice little compact um unit, and it just comes in this box, and then it just comes with this nice little um instruction manual, so it just kind of tells you how to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, so basically, this is a really strong magnet, um, so you lift the circle part off. Um, and you want to keep it at zero so you can see how strong that is. And then you lift the platform off. And it's just like the better press where um, you can see it has like the spacing, but you can mm -hmm. press it down. So it's really nice. Um, so it's just perfect for stamping and then getting that nice, precise stamp that you want. Mm -hmm. You can do this with cards and with layouts. And normally I make cards, but I wanted to try doing a layout. Um, so I have some of the new, um, the Pink Fresh Garden bouquet. So like the pretty purples. Uh, it's such a pretty collection. Yeah, it's really pretty. Their stuff's always really nice. Yeah. Um, and then the, their alphas, which are so pretty. Yeah. Super gold. We've already just, gone through one yeah, pack of those alphas. Yeah, this is alphas. our second pack. <laughs> yeah, because they're that pretty. Yeah, and then I have like 49 Market um, laser cut sheets, and I just figured I like doing like, um, I don't know, like 3D elements with mm -hmm. stamping. Um, and then this is my picture of George. <laughs> And I cut him out in a little circle. Oh, and I was going to say, did you stitch around the edge? No. Edible? But yeah, yeah it's part of that the dye. <laughs> no. I was like, oh, that's, that's fancy. Yeah, I took a lot of time doing that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he's sitting with like a little the tulips. I was trying to get him in a picture with the tulips. So I wanted to try to stamp a wreath type around him with flowers. And then we also have our beloved colors perks. Yeah. I think we're going to try to use today. If you've seen our videos and blog posts about that so fun to use and I am scrapping these photos of like on a boat so I'm going for the beachy boaty mm -hmm. nice. water vibes so I grabbed the um a few different products from and I left some of them over there I'm realizing okay. but from the um the set sale collection from okay. Heidi Swap which actually I haven't used this collection yet, but I've so mentally pretty. prepared yeah, so many I projects. Too. I have to. I'm like, I'm with gonna it. use this. I'm like, I'm gonna use this photo <laughs> on this paper with this embellishment. It's so really this pretty. the first time though actually I'm actually like using it. Mm -hmm. And my idea with it, let's see, I don't know. <laughs> but so this, <laughs> this isn't one of the projects I had an idea of using it with, but I'm gonna use we're gonna do. Some we're gonna punches. do something. We're gonna do something with <laughs> some it. circles. Some circles. Some words. First, I'm, yeah, the words are really pretty. Yeah. Um, you can do like words, and we'll show you how to do that too. Um, so with this, it's really cool because you don't have to do like a lot of math with it. Um, <laughs> That's what I was worried about. <laughs> so. And actually, I figured this out by, I first started by doing a little bit of math. Okay. And then I was like, oh, wait, it's already done. Oh. Um, so with this, uh, you see these, there's all these marks. And for whatever size paper you have, it, to find, like, the center of your paper, you just would line it up. So I'm working with a 12 by 12, so I'd line it up here. If I wanted to line it up on the side, I would line it up here. Oh. So like there's oh, this so 12 there's inch 12. and okay. this 12 inch. So yeah, you can see there and oh. then, oh, then you put the zero and then see how it just would line up into that. Yeah. So that it takes out a little bit of the math and like finding the center. Yeah, and of the your magnet's paper. super heavy, so it's a, um, a little hard the first time you take it off, but mm -hmm. it's like that so you can, like, move it around with the paper in there. Yeah. And so it's really nice. And it's, like, 
Because at first when you t- you were using it, you were like, is it locked in here? Yeah, like, I wasn't what is it? sure. And it's, no, it's, it's pretty strong. It's just a strong magnet. Yeah. You can't break it. Yeah, just pull you're it not going to hurt it or anything. And I was going to you have like a different plan, but <laughs> I'm kind of starting over now. Because okay. I actually switched my collection. Oh. That I'm using. Well, like... When I was planning on doing, I was going to use the Retro Summer oh, collection. Yeah. yeah, but we, like, sold out of that. Yeah, but, it was so cute. <laughs> but then it turned out, yeah. But, um, so then I was like, okay, well, I've been wanting to use the set sale, so that's what I'm yeah. going to use, but now I just have to, like... Come up with ideas. Re, yeah, <laughs> get, get some new ideas here. Uh, oh, hi, Rachel. Thank you for your help. <laughs> helping setting us up and and hi flora. hi flora so i'm just dabbing on a little bit of my color sparks onto my paper um and you really just need a little bit so it comes in these bottles and they're actually a watercolor powder so it goes on and you you honestly can't really see it but you don't want to do too much i do i always do a little too much just because <laughs> i get excited i like it a lot i'm gonna do I'm working with, um, how do you say that? Gambo? Like Gamboge? Gamboge. So it's like a yellow, kind of like a mustard yellow. And then marigold, the orange. And I'm going to use this with stereo, which is a really pretty purple. Kind of goes with my colors that I'm using. And um, what I'm doing here is I'm not going to do like the center. I'm going to do an off-center cool. swipe around. Nice. So, and I'm going to go for more, like, words. That's cool. The words are so cool. I remember yeah. seeing them in the pictures. I have the water bottle. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm just going to spray this. It's really cool. I'm not using watercolor paper just because um, it'll still work, but um, that way I can stamp a little bit easier. And what I keep kind of going back and forth debating what I want to do as either again um I might want to watercolor this a little bit in the background before I get going yeah so maybe I'll do we that we're debating that we're like do we do it before you stamp probably want to do it before yeah. so you don't cover it up and then you can just go in and watercolor yeah um, look at how cool that looks huh it just like explodes I love it so much stuff is so cool. I might actually use a little bit of this. Well, is that what I want to use? I don't know. Um, like we were saying, we had some technical difficulties. Yeah. And, <laughs> and now I'm just like, oh, we're live now. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm not as prepared. There wasn't prepared. a very big transition period between us panicking and then us going live. And then us, so, oh, we're calm. Stay with us here. <laughs> Hello, <Hi>. viewers. <laughs> yeah, the explosion of colors. Isn't that yeah. cool? It's I've, just, to me, I'm like, I'm done. I, yeah. I did it. <laughs> Have you guys used the color sparks before? Yeah, they're really cool. They're, they're so cool. We're getting more of the colors back in stock, so I know some of them, mm. the prettier ones we didn't have, but we do. We are getting them back, so look at while well, you do that yeah because I was just gonna get going with the um stamping but then I was like I really kind of want to do some watercolor mm-hmm. just to have as a base mm-hmm. just in case just to give it some color. yeah and it, I feel like it's always easier to s- do things if you start with a little something yeah you have kind of like a base to go off of yeah so all I'm doing is misting my paper a little bit uh, and then I'm using some Catherine Pooler inks yeah. to just, like, dab that color yeah. in the paper a little bit. Her inks are great for watercolor because they're super inky and bright. Mm-hmm. So those are a really good option if you've never done that. Um, and I was going to go for more of, like, a bright yellow sunny scene. Mm-hmm. But then um, now switching to the uh, using... The, what am I thinking here? Using the set sale collection, mm-hmm. I decided to go for blues. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just going to dry my paper a little. It's a little wet. And this isn't watercolor paper. We decided 
to just go for like some more flat cardstock because mm -hmm. the flat is better for stamping. Yeah. Um. So yeah, just because it's not watercolor paper doesn't mean you shouldn't use it. Mm hmm. It still works. Turns yeah. out really pretty. Yeah. have as much of the as of as much of the pinks as I thought I would. I don't know if I'm gonna want pink. I think the red looks kind of cool. And then some orange in here. I'm gonna start heating uh, this up a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Or I might add this is like some mica powder from Finnebear. Mm -hmm. um, it's similar to the Color Sparks. Mm -hmm. Just this one has more of like a pearlescent look. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have like the multiple colors. Yeah. So I'm just sprinkling a little bit of this on. There's like a lot in the cap, so I'm not even turning it over. I'm just like <laughs> letting some of it Yeah, and off. you really do not need a lot of, of it to like make it big, have a big effect. Yeah. But goes a long way. You're yeah, like, so for right now, I was going to lift it. Let me see. But my fingers are very painty. <laughs> um, so you can see now, it's just like hardly any specks on here. And like with anything, it's easier to add more than start off with too much and yeah. try to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's that. I'm just going to smoosh it around a little bit. I'll get my heat going on it, absorbing some of this water. So I might just end up putting these leaves in like the corners because I'm going to obviously end up stamping. So I'm going to figure out which stamps. I really like, I have the stamp set up. I really like these, the little flowers. I'm wondering if there might be maybe a little too small. So I'm just going to see what other flowers we have. Jess and I love flowers. I know. <laughs> so we're always looking for ways to do flowers in our... Have more of those like, even life. this super beachy, I was like, how can I add flowers yeah. in here? <laughs> like, yeah. does the flowers make things pretty? It does. It's hard to do stuff without adding flowers. Or like. at least leaves. Yeah. I might add some leaves on this. Like, yeah. some more of yeah. like those leaves. Yeah. Like the cutouts. Yeah, I love these, and they look so real. Yeah, I know. They're, they're so pretty. Mm -hmm. And they have them in all the different colors. Uh, those were from the Spect Spectrum Gardenia collection. Oh, that's right. I was wondering, because I was like, I don't, this wasn't for, this isn't the pink brush, it's for Night and Market, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was the Gardenia. Right. Okay. My page is, like, very soaked right now. Is that it? Yeah, like it's yeah. it's completely soaked through. Just all water. So that's one of the things that you kind of deal with when you don't use watercolor paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, watercolor paper is great because it holds the water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't like seep through or anything. Mine was doing that too. Um, it didn't spray as much as I could have, but I actually like the color sparks. Is there water in there? No. Okay. <laughs> I do like the color sparks with. Um, less of a spray because mm -hmm. it does add these little details um, of like the bright uh, different colors that come off of the single colors, which mm -hmm. is really cool. I mean, I know how it's done. Uh, Magic. Yeah, those are, yeah, those are by Ken Oliver and just so, it's just brilliant. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. So there I'm going to be good with my watercoloring. But yeah, you can see like my, well, I don't know if you can yeah. see, but it's, it's like dripping. It's like dripping. It's very wet and yeah. it's soaked through my paper, mm -hmm. but it'll be worth it once I get to the <laughs> stamping part, mm -hmm. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> I think I might mix. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to go grab the rest of this collection I'm okay. trying to use. Yeah. I'm trying to see what size flowers I want to use. So, um, this one's obviously really big, uh, but it might look cool, like, because once I rotate it, you know, it'll be the same pattern over and over. So that might look nice. 
And this is kind of like a sunflower, so it might look good with the yellow. And then a regular flower with the purples. So now, can I start it like this? Yeah, here. Should me, I wait for it to dry more? a little powder. That's it. Here, I can wipe it off better. Well, it stained it a little bit, but <laughs> as long as it's not going to transfer onto yeah. your thing. No, it'll be on the back. I mean, anyway. Doesn't like a little bit of blue. Yeah. It's still a little damp. Okay, so if you do it straight, so how do you? Let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna start and put it here. Oh. Okay. oh. Okay, so this is what I was wondering if it mattered where you put the stamp on here. Oh, you know, what I was doing it's um well, right? Well, you don't even have to like do it. I was just putting like where I wanted it on my page That's what I was gonna and then do. just putting and it down. Passing it. Um, I mean, you, there might be like a little bit more of a mathematical way, <laughs> but I just put it where I liked it and yeah. then turned from there. Ooh, I, I, uh, roasted my paper a little Ooh. bit. Ooh! <laughs> it, it's a little bit campfire So you gotta be, there. yeah, <laughs> I've got a little bit of a burn mark. We'll maybe cover it up. No, no, maybe not. We'll see. It's, okay. it's part of the mixed media fun. <laughs> fun and struggle. Okay, so I think it does, though, like, go up to the 12 line if you're doing 12 mm -hmm. by 12, I would imagine. Yeah, I would I think so, because, yeah, what, if you start with it there, mm -hmm. that's where it would be. That's kind of like the edge of yeah. where you would want to be for your paper. Yeah. So I'm just going to first make sure this is in... Is that right? That looks crooked. It does look crooked. Oh. Hold on. Oh. There we go. Oh, wait. I think that's, that's yeah. Okay, it's so they not did say zero. make sure you start at zero. That's why I was confused because I'm like. They just say that? that because then it's easier to find. Like, yes. you can know so that's why the zero is up and as you just I was put doing. It yeah. <laughs> okay. So it is easier than I just made it look. Sorry, guys. Here we go. There we go. There. Yeah. No biggie. How cool is this? And then you just... Yeah. Or and just, like, turn it by the knob. Yeah. Even, and I feel... It, it just feels good. It like, does. it feels it's like satisfying. a... It's satisfying. Yeah. You can hear it click. Yeah. So All you right. know how many clicks to take mm -hmm. it. And in the, um, the instructions for it... I don't know. Oh yeah. Here it is. Um, it, it you can be you. very specific mm -hmm. on how many turns and clicks like you want to do. If you want to do it 15 degrees, you can do 24 total stamps. Yeah. So it kind of tells you you can just do four, mm -hmm. right? Um, I might. I try. I kind of liked just eyeballing it. Yeah. Like you just I'm click like that it. Too. You click it until it looks mm -hmm. like that's a good spot. Yeah. Um. And then that's what creativity's yeah. all about. <laughs> yeah, and then you could go. Oh, I clicked it three times, so I'm gonna click it three times mm -hmm. again. Um. Rather than the measuring and the looking at it, if you're one of those more mathematical crafters, you can definitely do that though. You'd probably like this. A lot. Yeah. I'm not one for measuring and stuff, so I was a little intimidated by this tool, but um, it is so far pretty easy to use. Yeah. It's not like... Can I see that Tim Holtz trimmer? So right now I have a very warpy, warpy paper. Mm. So I'm going to back it with this paper from the Set Sail collection. 
Oh, that's a smart idea. And hopefully that'll flatten it down a little bit. I'm just putting the thing on here. Just it goes on nice and light. It fits in perfectly. And then I'm just gonna see it. I might do it again just to make sure. Alright. See how it looks. Not Ooh. too shabby. Ooh. Ooh. And, see, and so for this one, because yeah. they're so big, I might mm -hmm. only need like four. Mm -hmm. So, and look how cool. So you do have to lift it up, right? And then put more ink on it. Usually when I'm adding a border to my pages, I like, I like usually like a quarter inch will take off each side mm -hmm. um or just like a half inch in total yeah that makes sense um so i'll start with that but a lot of times i will just end up taking off more mm -hmm. i like a thin border it depends on my paper behind it mm -hmm. like how much of that i want showing through. Yeah. I'm using Catherine Pooler's Midnight because it's nice and dark and it would show up well, even with the watercolor. And Ooh. now I can even potentially cut off some of my burn marks. <laughs> Look at that one. All right. So yeah, mine are just going to be the four corners, so you can see each time I rotate it, it's just uh, the the corner. <laughs> Super scientific. <laughs> uh, thank you, Leslie. I know these colors, aren't they great? And it's just like a little dab of powder. It looks like I mm -hmm. took forever just painting it. Mm -hmm. But no. Mm -mm. It's just the color sparks. It's just the magic of the color mm -hmm. sparks. Are those your favorite colors? Yeah, I really like purple. And I really like greens, too. I was thinking maybe putting a green in here. I thought it yeah. pretty. Yeah. But... I like purple and orange and yellow. It's kind of fall, I feel like. Oh, oh I don't know. Purple. Well, like sunflowers are yeah. pretty summery. Yeah, that's true. So I don't know. Yours is blue. Mine's yeah. Mine's just gonna be blue. Oh, my favorite color. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like green too. Yeah, I like green too. All right. So there we go. What's nice about this is this is kind of like the other stamping platforms where you can continue to stamp on it. Um, so like, even if I move it this way, I can just move it back and be like, oh, I missed a spot there. Or I could lift it up and add more ink if I wanted to. I'm okay with the kind of distressy look. Yeah, I'm leaning into the distress look right now and kind of, because I had a little bit of crumpling on my paper. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like it when it's just a little bit off. Yeah. So I'm like, you might as well just let's crumple, crumple that the thing. whole thing. Yeah. You're like all or nothing type. Yeah. <laughs> like that's like if it's a little bit it off looks center. Cool. Yeah. Like, it looks cool. Yeah. If it's a little bit off center, that drives me nuts. I'd yeah. rather just you got to put it Do way like to the side. Angle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm gonna stick it to my page using some twisty cherry tape. Ooh, it's the best. That'll make it, that'll help flatten it too yeah. a little. This cherry tape's the best. Um, okay, my last stamp. I'm just gonna... And you can definitely, definitely do this with cards. I just was feeling like... A layout? Yeah, I just like doing them. Now, being around Jess and Rachel. Make you want to do layouts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have all these pictures of my dog. And uh, I'm like, might as well. Ooh. Okay, so this is my. How cool this looks, guys. Isn't that pretty? So it's like, oh my gosh, can you imagine if you did. I know we're not really talking about Christmas, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody's talking about Christmas already. It's crazy. It's like yeah. Christmas in July. But. If you did have just like a leaf stamp, mm -hmm. and you can make your own wreaths for Christmas mm -hmm. and do like green, and that would be really pretty. I like that. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't do any words. 
Are you going to do words? I'm going to do words. The words are really cool. I'm excited for you guys to see that. Yeah. So um, I did like the way that looked. I was going to do like florals and words, mm -hmm. but I, as much as I love florals, I just don't think it works as well with my, your theme, your, like my, your boating theme. Yeah, my yeah. boat theme. Yeah. As much as I add flowers into everything. Yeah. <laughs> I do like flowers. Oh, Flora said she's already starting her Christmas cards. Yeah. Yeah. See, and like for card makers, it is it's like. Started, really? Yeah. And especially if, you know what's hard about being a card maker? Hmm. People expect it. Right, Flora? So it's like for Christmas. You know, Grandma's going to be like, where's my Oh, card? where's my handmade card? Yeah, people, you know, once you do it once. Yeah. And then you do it for one person, you can't just like. Well, that's how it is <laughs> just like being a maker with everything. Yeah, that's so, true. So like, I started um, doing ceramics and like making pottery. So oh, then I'd, yeah, I'd yeah. give everybody like a little, <laughs> a little handmade mm -hmm. ceramic piece for mm -hmm. Christmas. And then it was like the next year. Oh. Where's my handmade yeah, where's ceramic? Yeah, where's my... <laughs> where's this nice thing? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, that's too bad. <laughs> okay, so here, I'm ready to get going with my stamping. That looks really cool. I like the really cool. It's, um, it like it's water. water. Yeah, it really oh, is water. It looks like water. And then I had a lot of blue on my hands, which I didn't realize when I was, like, pressing it down. But it... <laughs> <laughs> it's the distress look. It's, we're going with this distress look. I'm going to try rinsing my hands a little bit here. Get a little bit of this blue off. We need like wet wipes or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so here we go. I've got some sayings like, what's this? Splish splash. Oh, summer cool. fun. Yeah. Sunny days. Yeah. I might even add in some of these. There's like stay wild. You are my sunshine. Aw. Oh, I do like the stay wild for Georgie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Flora said 40. Yeah, 40 cards. That's a lot. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> Just as, that's a lot of card making. That's <laughs> Thank a you. Lot. Yeah. We do have different. It's, it's cool. It's, it's fun to watch, even for me, because I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to do this purple thing, and then Jess does a really cool blue one. Mm -hmm. So, but we're using the same tool. Mm -hmm. And even both going for the watercolor yeah. look. Yeah, so it's fun to see everybody's different takes on stuff. Yeah. I might go grab some more ink colors, because I'm going to try okay. to keep all in the blues. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, because I don't think we have... Yeah, we have this three. I'm just putting some of this pixie dust ink on my paper, trying to just blend out a little bit of more of the white. Um, I don't want it too, too white. So just trying to make a background uh, a little bit more colorful, as if it needs more color. <laughs> so I'm gonna use, I like this clay mask color too. Oh, it's yeah. Kind of like an orangey. Um, um. You know, and I think it's funny. I don't really like use a lot of oranges, yeah. but I've used that clay yeah. mask so much. And it's kind of unsuspecting. It kind of looks just like a yeah. like a skin tone color, yeah. but it does it's have nice. this yeah really nice tone to it. Yeah, and you you will you'll notice too. Like if you don't use watercolor paper, there's a little bit of. Like, my paper was still a little wet, so you can see, mm -hmm. like, a little bit of, um, I don't like, mm -hmm. a very little bit of bleeding, kind of, like, through with the ink, but it's, it's fine. I think it's, when you're doing, like, a mixed media type thing, I, and it's distressed and all that, I don't really think it matters. Yeah, you kind of really gotta expect to it. Look. Yeah. That's, like, all of my ripples. Yeah. And <laughs> I love it. You just gotta... Lean into it. I like that. I might make a border too. I like how yeah. I that. Yeah, I like adding a border if I have a nice paper. Okay, so let's see. I might try like one, two clicks. Nice. Oh, yeah. maybe, is... maybe three. Yeah, I'm... and see how you can eyeball it. Like you can tell. Yeah, I might do another two. 
maybe an under two. Oh, the only thing is... Is your paper... I might go... Uh, the only thing with, yeah, doing it oh, with this on big the, paper, on the corner, yeah. I'm kind of missing my section there, but mm. I think I'll still be able to line it up good enough. Just by kind of eyeballing it. Yeah. Maybe another one. Okay. There we go. So it is easier if you do more of like a centered yeah, thing. Yeah, I could see that. Um, but uh, I don't typically make things easy on myself. So. <laughs> so here we are. And that would make a really, that's a cute card idea too. You could do yeah. like the color or, or the corner and, um, and then with a the card, you don't have to worry about the paper being so big mm -hmm. too. But yeah. So see, look at that. So that's the clay mask color and it's, it's such like a pretty, it's almost like a peachy color. Peach. Yeah. Uh, and then see now I'm just kind of eyeballing like how much space was between those and that's how much I, space I want between these next ones and that's about ooh. it like you can you can kind of eyeball things yeah it's definitely if you want to do the math to it they have all these instructions on mm -hmm. there and they're super like intricate and very it's really it's helpful and they also we have a video too like on our site of like their demonstration mm -hmm. that's like not even a minute long of them using it um but it's the same as we're doing just like clicking it over and it's really easy a little click 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 yeah are you gonna make that look like a sun kind of like sun rays I don't... or like like water oh and actually i wanted my oops <laughs> <laughs> I wanted my words facing the other direction so, like, you could read them as they're coming down. Oh. So okay. I might make this, like, Ooh, facing this way yeah. and they're coming down. That's a cute idea. Or yeah. I could just watercolor this away and try again. You can do whatever, whatever you want. I'll try watercoloring it and okay. see if it works. I'm contemplating not work. rounding my edges here. And making it a circle. Dang it. Is that too many circles? Do you do circle layouts ever? Have you and Rachel ever done like a, like a, like a circle? What do you mean? Like one big circle. <laughs> Instead of a square. Like if I cut the edges. Oh. And just made it a circle. Sure. So you'd want to put it on. But then, yeah, you'd still like put it on a square. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to put in your book? Yeah. Okay, so that didn't really work. So I'm going to go with... What am I going to go with? <laughs> Dang it, why did I do that? You know, so it's like I wanted, yeah, to be able to read it because I was going to have this in the corner. Yeah. Is it weird having it? I don't think so. I think that's or maybe even this corner. Okay, I'll just switch it. Well, that's cute, yeah, if you did it like that. But now my border is going sideways. We'll worry about the border. That's okay. Later. I don't know if anyone's gonna... No. Okay, I'm gonna have it going this corner. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Okay, so now I'm going to just scoot this up. This is really nice. So there's... I don't know if you can see. There's lines in here. Mm -hmm. Um... So you can see where your stamp should go next. I'm just going to scoot this up a bit. I'm trying to think of what I want to... I think I want to trim my paper like Jess did and then back it on another cup, like a purple mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, it's a fun way to add like yeah, another layer like and um, another color or like emphasize a color yeah. a little bit more. Do you you want that paper hold? pad? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that too. And then do you have the Tim Holtz trimmer? Okay. I hope I got water on it. That's okay. I don't even know how I got water on it. That's all right. Oh, oh it's from when I was washing my hands with the spray bottle. <laughs> uh, Is this why you guys uh, watch us live? <laughs> just just the entertainment, not the, not the actual crafting or anything. Uh, just... We're like, these girls are funny, <laughs> 
first. Like, oh man, that's a struggle, but... Uh, that's, okay, so... But I feel that. Leslie said, the flower choice is awesome. Made me nervous until these... I know, they're big. I was a little nervous too. I was like, there's only two flowers, but it looks... I mean, it ended up looking really good. So I don't want my stamp to go onto my border. So I've got this little piece of plastic. Um, it's actually probably the backing of a stamp that I'm going to put oh, yeah. in the way. So I don't end up um, stamping on my background. I don't know if I need it, this stamp, for this stamp, but better safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. I know I'll definitely need it when I do this one. This one's my one hard one where I just kind of eyeball it a little bit. I'm a fan of eyeballing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't love uh, measuring. Yeah, I'm a fan of it does not have to be perfect. Yeah. To be, it also looks to better, be cool. I think, yeah. sometimes when you're not, when it's not so perfect. Um, yeah. Oh, so I was going to do purple because I love purple, but look at this. Let's look at this yellow. You guys can see. I'll show you. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Jess. Okay. Here's the yellow. Okay, this one is one that I'll be going off the edge a little bit, so I'm making sure I get some plastic in there. There we go. What do you think? Yellow or Ooh, purple? Good? I did it. It looks we're, good. We're getting there. I like it. <laughs> this? Like you said, doesn't have to be perfect. Right? Um, oh, see, I like that. And then I think, let's see, do I want to move it up once more? Or is that going to be too much? I'm going to do the purple. <laughs> I don't know. I'm debating how far. Far, I want to move it up. Oh yeah. Like I could do it again, or I could, or I could just kind of leave it. I'm, well, that depends if you wanted it to yeah. do anything. I guess I might come back to it after I get some of the other things stamped on here. That's smart. And see how it's looking as I'm building it. Okay, so I chose purple. Is that a shock? <laughs> 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 That's a pretty purple. It's so pretty. Yeah. I like this purple. I think I'm gonna try Let's see. And I'm gonna keep oh actually did I want to do I think I might have I decided if I wanted to do like continue the words over here, but I think I'm gonna skip it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think our, my head, does my head look cut Oh, off? no. Are you frozen? <laughs> <laughs> your head's off of your butt. <laughs> um, oh, boy, oh, that's boy. funny. Okay. If you can hear us, <laughs> we're still here. I might just skip or put it. There. Okay, so you just see oh. down and you don't see like our heads cut off. Oh yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Are we? Fr no, this you can. Oh, my like we can said, we can you see us? <laughs> Are we still frozen? You can hear us, okay. but look yeah, when, was cut off. <laughs> but like when this view, it's like our heads. My yeah. head. My head. <laughs> we look so good. So. <laughs> So What's I'm just on? going to skip it, and we, you guys, just enjoy. Just enjoy. It's, it's just enjoy. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy this part. Don't uh. worry. Like we said, Matt, who's like our our technical guy, who, who always today. sets it up. Yeah. He's not here today, and he was like, "You sure you want to go live? You sure you can do it?" And I'm like, "We're like, yeah, yeah, I want to go live, I but am I sure I can do it?" Yeah. <laughs> Like I was, I was telling Emily the other day, she's like, are you, are you good with the live? And I'm like, 80%. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out I was more like 20%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
twenty percent good with the live. Oh, Lord. So for those of you who are tuning in, anyways, <laughs> we appreciate you. We thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for supporting us through our tough times yeah. of the journey, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this because I saw Jess do this on her album, and it was so pretty. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you ever see this I tool, love it. you guys? This distress tool. There's, like, paper flying everywhere. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, Leslie said yours looks amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Through uh, my, like, 50 accidents. She said happy accident. Yeah. Or, like, happy 12 accidents. But, yeah, this is the distress tool, and you can uh, make the edges kind of... Um, I don't even know how to explain that. Just I think just said, yeah, like distressed like or like ripped, ripped paper. Um, but it's like a controlled rip. Yeah, it's so cool. So I'm gonna do that to the edges here. That's looking cool. Like there. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. With how many different things I struggled with on this. I am, it's, it is getting there. Like, <laughs> like, we're figuring this out. It's okay. And then if you do this enough, the paper starts to, like, curl. Mm-hmm. Curl on me. Yeah, end. that's what I like when it, when it get, has that curl on it. Yeah. And it's, I don't know, it's just really cool. Like, right now I'm working, I especially do it when I do a 49 and Market album mm -hmm. or, like, anything. Or, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, like right now I'm working on 49 Market album and I'm doing it to everything. Yeah. On the whole album. I love it. Every page. Well, it just adds, it almost makes it look like there's another layer. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, like you can see, cause even once I tape this down, it's going to be like, it looks like you could peel this. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just a really cool effect. These are the Sizzix tools. Um, and then the other side is just like this really nice glide cutter. And then it comes with a pack of other ones. Mm -hmm. There's two of them, so I don't remember which. There's three. Which. Oh, yeah, there is three. There's an intricate kit, which has, like, um... <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll forget that I we'll stopped that describing it. <laughs> put that link in below. Today <laughs> is not the day. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, the texture, Flora. That's the word it was yeah. looking for. Texture. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this. Yeah. As much as we are. <laughs> uh, this one's cool. I like the stamp wheel and the fact that it's not um, like a regular one. It is for... Mm -hmm. Like the circles and arches and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, I like that it's smaller. Mm -hmm. you, know? you don't. It's not like another huge, A huge thing tool. that you have yeah. to store. Worry about storing somewhere. Yeah, and I mean, even if you did want to just use it as, um, like use it for your regular stamping, mm -hmm. you could yeah. definitely do that because it is like the like um. This is a Sizzix platform one too. Yeah, just it's smaller. Yeah, and a little more condensed. And so. I kind of like that it doesn't um, fold open. I like I like the idea mm -hmm. of it just pressing. So you yeah, just press and it's good. Yep. Um, it, it seems very easy. And yeah. Very intuitive. Yeah, it's not. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the other way. This it just is like yeah, it just feels easier for mm -hmm. some reason. Just like Which, a little bit. And I mean, I've been using the Sizzix one a ton. Yeah. Like, use it all the I time. use it a lot. Um, and I mean, most stamps, I haven't seen a stamp bigger than this. You know? Like, well, yeah. So, well, yeah. So, I can't imagine for, that big. for yeah. stamping, <laughs> yeah, it, it's good. It's good size. It'd be great too for card making if you mm -hmm. wanted to do, like, I like doing words like that mm -hmm. for like a background. But it's obviously really hard to do. But with this one, you can just turn it. Obviously, mm -hmm. it would still be a it would be an oval, but a lot easier than like picking it up and. Mm -hmm. Or even um, like if you had individual alphas that you want to. Uh, oh yeah. Like, like make line on a up. line, or even so, like a curve. You could follow any of these lines for mm -hmm. how like tight of a curve you want. Yes. Or if you want it straight, 
there's this perfectly straight line that yeah, you can that's just a good point too. yeah stick them on yeah okay so there I'm done with my second one uh, I feel like I'm talking a lot about stamping lately because um, oh, yeah, for our YouTube, YouTube hop yeah. right now we have a it's a stamping themed YouTube hop and yeah and so and actually the YouTube hop's still going so if you haven't checked that out we'll be picking a winner next week early next week yeah and you can get a fifteen dollar ACOT gift card yeah yeah um so yeah go hop along on our YouTube hop. side. All right, I'm going to go with that. Okay. I'm just figuring out where I want this. That's cute. That's good. Oh, I like the words. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it because it, it, you see a lot of like floral wreaths and stuff mm -hmm. like already in pattern yes. paper. Yes. Um, but yeah, you don't really see like a word wreath. No, not usually. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And you could uh, do like you were doing one mm -hmm. where it was like half floral, half mm -hmm. word. That's that's really pretty too. Yeah, that's what I was originally going to do when yeah. I was going to use the florals and more like yellow. I had like half words that I wanted on the top, and then the bottom I was just going to fill with flowers. Yeah, which you could easily do with. I, yeah, I still might want to do that idea just on a different page. Yeah, yeah. it looks super pretty. Alright, so there's my distressed edges. That's a texture. I think we're just gonna dab it now with a little bit of clay paste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check out the YouTube hop. Lori said she should check that out. Oh yeah, I love our YouTube hops. And they have, our, the, our design team has really cool ideas. Yeah. Um, I can't remember which one it was. Gosh, there was a, oh, Natalie did, um, not for this YouTube hop, but it was for, our, I think, our Technique Tuesday mm. last month. And she did, um, we were doing foil, and she just used, like, a regular guy with her foil machine. And I was like, that's so oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And like, because, you know, and those the foil plates are pretty, you know, they can get pretty pricey, but if you have dyes that can work with mm -hmm. them, like, who knew? Or now you can also use the better press for mm -hmm. foiling. Yeah, you can, yeah, which is really cool. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Is this the right order? Oh, I like that one. That's a pretty color. Yeah. Yeah, this is another highly used color that I use a lot. Okay, nice. Oh, and then I'm going to do a second layer. Or do I not even? That looks cool. Hmm. You like it as is? Well, That's I was good. debating it. I was going to do another one. Yeah. But I might not. It looks good. I think I'll leave it for now. Yeah. You can always come back. Yeah. Because uh, I don't want to overdo it. Like a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> you can always trim off yeah, more if you exactly, want. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, I might go see. See how, how much texture. And then I just went over it with a little bit of ink. Well, I we, love doing that. We'll be right back. Okay. So I just did the clay mask on the edge here. I just love doing that because it adds a little bit of pop. You can see really well the corners now. So I'm probably going to put this down with some cherry tape on the thing. 
second. Just because it is crinkly a little bit, but I don't mind what we're talking about. Did you do your background with cherry tape? Mm-hmm. A do lot you get of times nervous <laughs> when I use cherry tape. Well, yeah, because I love it and it sticks really well. But sometimes it's like if it's once it's on, it's like it's yeah. Um, I don't think I get nervous, but I think just kind of how I've learned to be as a crafter mm -hmm. is we'll just try it out, and if it doesn't work. We'll figure it out from there. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I do just kind of try a lot of things that have a high possibility of not working. <laughs> um, so like, oh, if I put it on crooked, I'll just do something else with yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. If I put it on crooked, it can just be like a diagonal look. Yeah. And then I can trim edges if I need to. Okay, so now I need to figure out a way where I'm not covering up a lot of stuff and it but it doesn't look like random scattered something it's <laughs> pretty um so we got the 6 by 8 paper pad and I'll back my photos this is such a cool collection. It's really pretty. Uh, yeah, Mike and I are going on vacation in, mm -hmm. for my birthday in August, and we, we just booked a sailing trip. So I'm, I want to so use it. so fun. Where and are you sailing? It's um, in Connecticut. It's actually, no, wait, it's in Rhode Island. Oh. It's like right off the water there. I don't really know exactly where. <laughs> but... People have, like, pictures um, of themselves, like, with the oar and yeah. the, the, the ship wheel. Yeah, how cute. So Would in my be? head, I'm like, I'm going to use that. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I I'll have a picture. I think it's so funny when, um, and I'll do this, too. Like, there's a collection I want to use. Yeah. I don't have photos for it yet. <laughs> Let's stage a yeah. photo shoot. Or, like, yeah. even if it's, so, if there's, like, an Apple collection I want to use, yeah. I'm like, we're making a point to go to the apple yeah. orchard this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm going to stand, sorry. It's just so I can see this better. And I'm going to use this to back my photos. I did it! <laughs> Yay! All right. I think that looks good. I actually like, I kind of like how, um, like, wrinkly... So there's that. It looks good. Yeah, I don't mind the wrinkles either. Yeah. It just adds a little texture. Like mm -hmm. that. What is that? Oh, you said you froze on the close-up. Can you hear us? Froze here. Hear you. Right, I'm going to pull it up, pull us up on my phone. See what we look like. Hopefully we're not just, like, frozen. Yeah, really. <laughs> like, we're frozen right here. I feel like I see us fine. Laura just commented. Can you guys see us and hear us okay? Just let us know if not. And then we'll struggle with a little more IT. <laughs> that's that's all this live needs, is a little more struggle. <laughs> I'm just trimming my purple edge a little bit. Okay. Oh, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. It looks great to me. She said, thank you. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Um, oh, and Flora said I just came back from beach vacation. Yeah, oh, perfect. perfect. This is the perfect collection. For or Flora. have you seen the new um, 49 and Market collection? Oh. It's on pre-order. Oh, yeah. That one's super pretty. I, when I was, yeah, grabbing this to work with, I was, I was just thinking, I was like, ooh. Contemplating. If only that wasn't on pre-order. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't even, yeah, yeah, because we don't have it yet. Yeah, right? we don't have it yet. Yeah. yeah, that stuff is pretty. Oh, yeah, and a market is just. Just pretty. Just pretty. And just really nice to use. Okay. Where's my Georgie boy? He's so cute. 
Um, I like that you circle cut the yeah. photo, too. I was just thinking it'd be cool to have a circle. I might actually cut a die cut a circle border, like a like a yellow one or something. Oh, like yeah. Just to yeah. Because it, it looks a little bit... Mm -hmm. I, might, I feel like I want something Like it could use there. another layer? Yeah. And then you could even distress it. Yeah. And then I have all these, the pretty, this is the garden um, bouquet line from Pink Fresh. So, mm -hmm. and I like these circles a lot. This is the part I get a little nervous. But I've learned from Justin and Rachel that you got a layer. Mm -hmm. It's okay to cover up your stuff a little bit. Yeah, 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 that's the layer. Things gotta be touching. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna start struggling with mm -hmm. on this project because yeah. I'm kind of, I don't know how I'm gonna get these to all touch each other. Yeah. That's a good point about the touching. I never really thought of that, but that's how you do like clusters of mm -hmm. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So it's more of a... Forty nine and market one floral. That's a good one. See, I feel like this kind of blends in a little much, though. The floral one. Mm hmm. Floral. Maybe I'll add a. Cir There's this cute circle stickers. I like this one. Oh, this one's already on some cherry dots. Somebody was gonna use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna put that right in. Already cherry dot popped <laughs> up for you. Cute. I like the cherry dot. I wasn't even going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I do like to put um, his name, <laughs> George. I'm going to use these pretty alphas. And I might, um... yeah, I think. First, I'll cut out a circle, and then I'll put his name somewhere. Mm. Maybe I'll put it around here, but mm -hmm. and show you these pretty gold um, colors. This is also from the Garden Bouquet Collection from Fresh. Um, they're just like, see how pretty? They're like shiny, but kind of matte. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, they're like a matte shiny. I don't know mm -hmm. how to explain it, but they're really pretty. Yeah. It looks like real gold. <laughs> yeah. So. This goes good, I think, with my yellows, too. So I've got four photos. I tried to get photos that, like, showed everybody who was on the boat. Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, wait, am I in any of these? <laughs> Are you not? That's my back. So. <laughs> and actually, there's that that's me in the water. There you are. <laughs> there I am. You just can't see me. I'm there. That's funny. Okay. So I'm kind of... Let's see. I don't really love this. I'm debating whether I want these real leaves in here or not. I'm not sure anymore. They're, it's really, they're pretty, but I don't know if it goes with my oh, layout or not. Yeah. Because they are so That's realistic. That was my thing with the flowers. Like, I yeah. wanted the flowers, but then I was like, yeah. It just doesn't really, like, it's not going with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I might do something more like that. So it's still clustered. That's cute. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. Now, time to go through some ephemera and see how that is going to layer up. And again, just working on those clusters. I also grabbed these stickers in case I want more words. Oh, yeah, those are really But I really like using these. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're just really easy. I don't know if I'm going to add them to add more words, but I like them. So... Oh, and actually this has words, too. So, yeah, we'll see. Here's a trick. If you have a sticker and you want to put it, like, in between two things, you can just trim it. Mm. So that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I did it. It's not, like, the perfect cut. So. Oh, and I could add 
Let me put these. Sunshine. Put that sail. Oh, yeah, see, those are pretty. I like the gold. Sail away. Ocean. See, we're in Michigan, mm -hmm. so we have all the lakes around us. Mm -hmm. A lot of these are more like ocean lover, out to mm -hmm. sea, but we're like at the lake. Yeah. So that's the only thing it's with like these. Life. Sunshine. Uh -huh. Set sail. Is it weird to say set sail when you're not on a sailboat? <laughs> Nah, I think whatever, whatever you like. Obsessed. Let's see, es <laughs> escape. Might not you end up using any actually. We'll grab out the ephemera. Start taking a look at it. So there's my cut sticker. So I just cut one end and I rounded it because it's on, and then did it on the other side of the circle to make it look like it's underneath. <laughs> Uh, someone asked you what sticker pack that was. Um, the, this, they're all the set sale for stickers. This is set sale, this is set sale. I think that's the only, oh, and then this one, set sale. Uh, so this one, I don't know what it's exactly called, but like if you look at our mm -hmm. set sale collection, yeah, it it'll be, be it'll be in there. So, yeah. That's all those. Do a seagull. Maybe lay a fishy. I do want another circle. I'm just running out. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Might be another cherry bat thingy. Might add some tags. I don't know if I want to add in pink to this or not. Well, it's not like pink. It's like a peach. So I might add in some mm, of that. Yeah. I also might not, but we'll see as I'm grabbing things. I like this. This who, Ooh, what, where. Yeah. That kind of coordinates. The only thing is it'd be another big thing that covers up words. Yeah. Add the balance with layering. Where do you think I should put this? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you. Um, yeah. Or, maybe or like, in line with maybe like, well, oh, yeah. This one, I would say, maybe. Yeah, maybe like, like or, or maybe over here, like, like that. Could. I don't want to cover up my flower. <laughs> I have to. Just think of it like you already have a lot of other flowers That's on there. That's true. So covering up one for the greater good is oh, A-OK. -okay. So there's my corner cluster so far. I did also so grab and some enamel dots. Gold ones might go with the stickers. Or just some purple. What do you guys like to scrapbook? I like to scrapbook my dog. <laughs> Well, and I just did that art journal, and I was doing, mm -hmm. like, my nature photos. Mm -hmm. I just love taking pictures of them, and then I'm like, what do I do with them? Yeah. But I feel like the journal is good for that. Um, 
So yeah, thanks, Cindy. She did love their layouts. Thanks. Yeah, I would. I pretty. I'd like to scrapbook anything. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I. I really used to hardly take any photos. Really. Um. So then it was like hard to scrapbook mm-hmm. things, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, now I, I try to take more. I still don't take, like, a lot. Actually, my mom took all of these. Yeah. And I'm a lot more, like, just everybody send me your photos. Yeah. Uh, and I know Rachel does that, too. Like, well, she'll send me the photos she takes. Yeah, Like, yeah. we're going camping in a few weeks, and, uh, and she's like, oh, we gotta take a lot of photos at camp. It's yeah. Like, but you take a lot of photos at camp, <laughs> and then send them my way. <laughs> Yeah, Flora said your your daughters. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. If you have kids, it's easy to um, scrapbook them. I I've been I have like a bunch of photos of uh, my niece that I just love to I love to scrapbook her. <laughs> it's just fun. Uh, Mike said nature photos. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I like nature photos. And well, it's like one of those things where it's like I don't necessarily want this in my phone. For right. forever, because mm-hmm. it's like, mm-hmm. it's not like a super fun memory or anything, but it's like you want to document it yeah. somehow. Um, yeah. So yeah, and then it also makes just such pretty, like, pages. Yes, absolutely. I like, yeah, I like it. It's just kind of calming if you need, like, a you have a little book you can flip through of little nature photos mm-hmm. <laughs> instead of scrolling on your phone. So I'm using, I'm actually using this honeybee uh, we had for, for like a Halloween one, but it has Mm -hmm. like the purple and oranges. Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of putting some gems around here. Um, I like the sunshine, but then I'd need to add in some more yellow. Oh, that's really So it's like, if you're, yeah, yeah, like you can't just add, so like the peach. Oh, and the rays go with your design. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Yeah, actually. Yeah. So that does work. Yeah. I just need some more yellows to Mm -hmm. add in. Mm -hmm. Do you, I know you and Rachel said you guys don't really, um, do titles do you or it sometimes just depends so um, I know that, that I feel like that used to be more of a thing where people would yeah title I title out. things more often than Rachel does mm-hmm. um but for me it's kind of like if it just comes easily mm-hmm. I'll do a title mm-hmm. if it's something I have to really work for then then I don't yeah <laughs> or uh yeah, like, I'll add a title. For one, like, if there's already some ephemera or something that mm-hmm. looks perfect and would match it, then I would. Yeah. Um, Or, like, if I have a pun or something, like, in my head already that yeah. I can do. Oh, yeah, your tart one was really yeah. cute. <laughs> a place in my tart. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, so something like that. Yeah. But, yeah, if it's, if it's one that is not coming easily, I don't push it. Yeah, that makes sense. I like just doing like the na- like George, like the yeah. names, or like if you're labeling like you know like whatever lake you could do like lake whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if it's a cool lake. Name. Yeah. <laughs> I might uh, cut this down to stick in this little pocket. Cindy said, I make a scrapbook of their first year and give it to mom. Yeah, that's oh, nice. Oh, that is, that's really nice. Yeah. Because that's something, um, not, you know, parents don't always have time for, like, scrapping mm-hmm. photos of the kids, but, um, I just found a cute one, too, of my niece of her, like, school picture, and I was mm-hmm. thinking that, too. I'm like, that'd be cool to do, mm-hmm. you know, every year. Okay. Put in, I'm now going to do a little cluster over on this side, kind of like a corner situation here. Okay. So this, now I have this, that's like a nice little slide. I'm just going to stick this on here so you can easily grab it out. Can you hand me, oh, I need this slide. Oh, I have this one too. 
So many good options. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of circles, but I figure that's okay. I'm still using, like, a lot of the stickers. The stickers are really, like, just easy to use. Yeah. Because they're just cute sayings. Mm -hmm. and I don't know where I want to put George's name yet. I don't know if I want it, like, maybe in a corner, um, like in... One of the blank corners with George. What do you guys think? <laughs> For the title? Like, just like his name, George, or like George. Or I could you could do, do like a round. round. Yeah. That would be pretty. I was thinking that too, like QID. Yeah. Okay. I might add more onto my cluster here. Ooh, this is a circle forever in my heart. And this is nice. This is a little bit of a lighter color, so that goes good with the coming off the page a little bit more because I got a lot of dark purples and whatnot. Sorry. No, my, <laughs> my, my <laughs> no, my ephemera is just leaking its way oh. over there. <laughs> I forgot my photo on it. Oop. There's, if you can see, this corner. I like these, I wish I had more of these circles. They're so pretty. Oh, yeah. I should have grabbed another pack because we've been using it, but. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, I'm going to put some more in here. I love those embellishments that are just so easy to use. Yeah, yeah, it does make it easy. And just like layer and easy yeah. and cute. Yes. Um, I'm just starting to glue together some of my ephemera that I know I want stuck together, like some of the clusters, mm -hmm. so it's easier to get them situated where I want them to go. Mm -hmm. I always do sequins and I'm always like, ooh, I did too much, but it's never too yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always think that, and then after I'm done, I'm like, it's actually oh, fine. Yeah. <laughs> you can never really overdo just feel like it. It's that finishing touch, you mm -hmm. know. So, like I was saying with the clustering. Like, even this, like a little embellishment cluster, I've got, oh, yeah. you know, four of them just all in one. And yeah. then that's going to cluster on a photo. That's and the cute. photo's touching another cluster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And I want to... Pop up my photos. I like them having a little bit of dimension and separating them from the background a little bit more. Yeah, I do too. So I almost always pop up I think, my photos. Yeah, I think I normally do too. I'm thinking I'll do maybe the purple, maybe yellow. Is that the purple? Oh, I oh, handed I it. it. Yeah. I think I just really like this purple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that, that is nice purple. So yeah, I think I'll probably do like a purple circle, just that's bigger. Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably do the distressing around it. And then I'll do George's name, I think, under here. That's Fun. 
then I can pop these up too. You guys pop up things on your layouts? Yeah, I wonder. Do you, do you, yeah, work more dimensionally? Because I know a lot of people who are just like, no, I don't like working dimensionally because then you can't fit as many uh, layouts in a album. Yeah. Which I definitely get that. You do go through more albums. Yeah. But. I can't help it. I know. <laughs> I did the, even my art, like, even when you do, like, a journal or whatever, and mm -hmm. then the pages just, like, won't shut, and I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like it. It's, like, pops it up, and I like the dimension it mm -hmm. brings. That's how I feel about it, too. Mmm, pretty. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, my goal, because I am covering up a lot of the stamping that I did, but my goal with it is just to be able to read, like, each stamp at least one place. So, like, this summer, here, here, and here, it got pretty much completely covered up. So, my goal is just to leave that yeah. so you can read it. <laughs> you can read it in at least one place. That's great. That's a good goal, I feel. Yeah. That is, I feel like that's the hardest part about, like, scrapbooking is the layering, mm -hmm. and it's fun, and then you see it, and it looks so good when you do it, um, but it's, I, I always am like, what, I don't want to cover up my stuff, but then it looks so good, uh, and you can still see uh, it. Uh, Clint is always like, I'll spend forever on making a background, and then Clint will come <laughs> over and be like, you're covering that up. <laughs> Why are you covering that up? I'm like, it's just the background. Yeah. It's part of it. It's like, well, your why'd you make your photos so big? Yeah. I'm like, well, it's still about the photos. It like, is, yeah. It's the main thing. Yeah. I decided to omit the... Ooh, I guess I could try... Oh, some pink flowers. I think that the flop B leaves, the 49 and market ones, just aren't gelling with my layout here, which I'm okay with. Mm -hmm. So I made my little cluster up in this corner. On this side, and then, and then my left side corner. these letters are going to look really pretty. So I think that'll kind of make it look more complete. Yeah. I'll probably do that off camera where I'll do the the circle die. Mm. So I'll cut this out as a circle and then do his name. And, it's, and then it'll probably look more finished. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, what else can I add? But I don't want to add too, too much. Mm -hmm. And it kind of look, you know. Too much before I put my photo on. Yours is pretty. Thanks. Where, what lake is that? I want to say Hubbard Lake. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, and I forgot about my stickers. What stickers? Which oh, ones? These stickers. Oh, yeah. Because I was just thinking, I wish I had some more smaller ephemera pieces. But here we, we go. Do. <laughs> we have stickers. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> we planned them. <laughs> Ooh, I have some good pieces in here. I'm gonna die cut this up too. I'll grab my circle die. Alrighty. Okay. I'm, I'm good with sticking. Let's have to start sticking some stuff down. I 
because I want a little thing here. I was going to have the tags there, but then it would cover up my summer stamp. And I had that rule I gave myself, so I didn't want to do that. So this is how we're going, but I wanted a little tiny thing there. And I'll probably end up putting some little tiny things a little bit everywhere. This piece. And again, doing the clustering. And I like these seagulls. Ooh, can I fit in a seagull there? Okay, so here's my... Mm, that might be too much. Here's my circle. So, okay. That looks pretty good. And I think what I'm going to do... Either cherry dot my, just my photo, or I could cherry dot the whole thing. Well, first I'm going to distress the edge of my handy dandy tool here. Ooh, that one's perfect. These are nice stickers. Yeah. I like them. It is nice when you have like a whole collection yeah. to work with and it just makes it so much easier, even with making cards. I'm like, oh, yeah, no big deal. <laughs> it all matches. Yeah. Um, but you definitely can mix and match. I've definitely done that. Yeah, I'll do that a lot, too. And I do that, like, when I'm trying to do, like, stash busting type stuff. Um, but other times, yeah, you know, it's just, it makes it easier when yeah. you can just... <laughs> Just use mm -hmm. all the same thing that you know is going to look nice. Mm -hmm. And then it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just dressing my circle edge. Do you like to leave the edge white when you do this? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Because I was kind of going over it, but I was like, I guess the white mm -hmm. does look cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like the white. It adds and, that distress you look. And it gives it, like, a border. Mm -hmm. And it pops it out a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, so I definitely leave it. I'm gonna leave it for my circle then. I did do it a little bit on this edge. Yeah. Um, but I think I'll leave this white so it does... Got a stamp. All right. Um, so there's my distress circle. You can't really tell to see, you can see it more on the edge there. Um, Oh, that looks good, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, it, looks better it just really just, like, pops it out. Yep. The only thing is, like, there's paper flying everywhere. So, like, I'm, like, <laughs> oh, I know. It. That's what I'm doing. When I was doing when that, <laughs> that 49 and it. Market <laughs> album, I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like, dusty. Because, yeah, it, it goes all over the place. Cute, cute. Ooh, maybe have that there. I think I'm gonna tape this down and then pop my picture up. Mm. So, I might just use this new row since you're cut out. Mm -hmm. That's what's nice, like with the new with glue. You know, you can kind of arrange things before setting them down. Mm -hmm. So 
let's see. I'm gonna put that there. <laughs> I wish I could show this to him. <laughs> oh yeah, and, like, that like he's a kid. Well, like, I'll like, do that. I made of you. <laughs> I'll do that with Bammy sometimes, and I'll be like, I'll take a, such a cute picture of her. And yeah, I'm like, look how cute you are. Yeah. and she's like, she just tries to bury my phone. Like, she yeah, picks her yes, blanket. yes. George does that too. He hates our phones. <laughs> like, oh, I'm just like, I'm right you. here. Look at me. Just showing you how cute you are. <laughs> That's me. you. I'm sneezing from the paper dust. <laughs> The cool thing, though, when you do have photos, like, from your phone, mm -hmm. is, like, I don't know what date this was, but I can go back and look on oh, my phone, no. and then I can just fill in the date on this, because I have this little yeah. Today sticker. Yeah. So I'll just probably do that. Yeah, I'll do that, too. I do that a lot, because I don't always scrap things right away. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a s scrapbooker who kind of, like, I'll just hold on to the photo for a while until I find the perfect collection. Mm hmm uh, that works with it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it could be like a year or two or three or really? how, however many until I actually scrapbook the photo. So do you think I should put it up here or down here? I think I'd put it up here. I don't feel like either. Yeah. Well, I feel like, well, well I guess, yeah, either. Either way. I was going to say, that reading it up might be weird. Yeah. But I think either way gonna look fine mm -hmm. here's, my, here's my pretty much done layout yeah yeah I'm, I'm getting there I'm almost done I want to like almost put it in this corner and just do a straight but is that too what do you think? You're a scrapbook expert. I think you could do either. Well, actually, no, I don't think I'd do the corner just because, like, you already have those two yeah. corners. Yeah. Unless you put it, like, in one of those corners. Okay. If For, yeah. like, doing it straight, you know? Yeah. So either here. Yeah. Or just lay the press top. Yeah, I'll do that a lot, um, just, like, because it's easy to pick up. Yeah. Because, actually, yeah, I might just... See what it so looks you, like. Yeah, you can definitely get um, a just good, not press it good down look. All the way. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I like about working with stickers or ephemera and all that, because they do move around pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Like, if you just rest them there. Yeah. Which is like, typically what I'll do. Setting them down too hard Yeah. Yet. I like to go back anyway with glue with alphas. Mm -hmm. like just, sometimes they just kind of fall off. Yeah, I do um, that too. So just as like a precautionary measure. That one. All right. I think I'm going to glue this one down. And then I think I'm good. I might, if anything, I might add some um, gems on here. Oh, yeah. We got gems. I got more gems. Got these pink fresh ones. Oh, yeah. Might do some oh, of these blues. Pretty. Yeah. That one's pretty, too. It's bright. Yeah. Here's mine with George. Um, his name in the... Which I actually yeah. kind of like that. Yeah. And you can read it, like Jess was saying. Mm hmm So you can see my little clusters and then my, my mm -hmm. stamp wreath, which looks really cool. It's cool because it's like your color sparks. Yeah. It's like they, they matched kind of with your with big the, flowers. The big ones, yeah. Yeah. So where's that? It was super Very easy cool. to use. Yeah. Easier um, than I thought. Oh, 
Oh, I was going to say, look, our front camera works, but <laughs> it doesn't. So we'll just wave goodbye with our hands. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us through yeah. all of our technical difficulties today. Yes, we today. appreciate the loyalty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Cindy. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, Flora and Leslie for joining us. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Have yeah. a nice week.